So this is Nathan Lee's submission for the Desmos art contest. Um, and if you look at it, we see a bumblebee here in the middle, and you can see the equations he used to make the bumblebee by opening up any of the folders. But we also see all these uh, random seeming horizontal lines going on and this mysterious function in the middle. And you look at it and you think, well, maybe there's not much going on. Uh, but the deal with, Desmo, uh, with Nathan's um, submission, rather, is that he chose to do one that is based on sound rather than purely visuals. And what a lot of people don't know is that Desmos has accessibility vi uh, features for visually impaired learners. And uh, let me show you some examples of that, and we'll come back to Nathan's. So, for example, if I was teaching about parabolas in a class, and I have y equals x squared here, what a lot of people don't know is you can actually do an audio trace on this graph. And the way you access that is you press Alt-T, and that sets up the audio trace. And then listen to what happens when I play it by pressing the letter H. So visually impaired learners can experience the graph by, by listening to it and have an idea of how the a graph behaves. Uh, and it's kind of fun to play with. Uh, let's do another one, like y equals, let's do sine, uh, actually 3 sine x. Let's make it have a little amplitude to it. Sine 3x. How do you think this might sound when we play it? So again, I do Alt-T, and I'm going to do the H, and here goes. And hopefully there you can hear the differences between positive x values and negative x values and as it goes from left to right. And also you heard those pops in the middle. And those pops are points uh, here and here between the two graphs that I currently have on. So Nathan chose to use this as uh, leverage for his project. And the second he found out that there was audio features, he kind of put himself in a corner and he correlated all of the parts of the graph to tones using a, a, an iPhone app. So he figured out the correct notes and what he wanted to use. So without further ado, here is Nathan's project. And if you look at the title, you can kind of hear what's going to go on here. So here's his function. And I do Alt-T, and here it is. stuff. I hope you agree. So have fun with the audio features.